I'm Benjamin Voss with FNH USA. We're here at the 2012 SHOT Show. We're going to talk about FNH USA's long-range precision rifle, the Ballista. The Ballista is made by Unique Alpine in Bavaria, Germany, a partner with FNH USA to produce the Ballista. The Ballista represents FNH USA's uh, submission to the Special Operations Command Precision Sniper Rifle. It is a completely modular, multi-caliber precision rifle that enables the operator to change the caliber of the rifle from 338 Lapua to 300 Winchester Magnum or to 308 Winchester. There are three caliber specific parts on the ballista that the operator must change. One of them obviously is going to be the magazine. The magazine removes via ambidextrous magazine release. The magazines are all sized for the 338 Lapua on the external. Only the internal parts are caliber specific to the exact size of the, of the cartridge, such as 308 or 300 Winchester. There are two capacities. There's a large capacity for each caliber and a small capacity for each caliber. There's only two external sizes. The second part that is caliber specific is the bolt head. And it's not the entire bolt, it's just the head of the bolt. To remove the bolt, I have to fold the, bolding, the folding buttstock out of the way and remove the bolt. On the back of the bolt is the striker mounted safety. The manual safety on the striker allows the operator to place the, place the, the striker in the safe position, allowing him or her to disassemble the rifle or disassemble the striker without the use of any tools. With the striker out of the bolt assembly, the striker actually doubles as the, the retaining pin for the bolt head. The bolt head is now just dovetailed in. Without the striker assembly, can be taken directly out of the bolt head. So this is a 338 bolt head. The 308 bolt head, let's say I have now, I would just place back inside the bolt body, reinsert the striker assembly, that completes my second step of the caliber change. The third step would be to remove the barrel and retorque the barrel down. The ballista's aluminum receiver allows for us to remove the barrel extension without interrupted threads or different types of fasteners. Because the bolt locking lugs lock into the barrel extension, I can have an aluminum receiver that's lightweight because when the bolt is locked into the barrel extension, all the chamber pressure is held by those two parts. The aluminum receiver is split across the bottom and the barrel extension sits in and the receiver clamps around those. On the left side of the rifle, there are three, or there are four clamping screws that clamp the receiver around the barrel extension. On the right side, there's a fifth screw that forces the receiver open, allowing the operator to remove the barrel out of the front of the rifle. To remove the barrel, on board the detachable forearm are two of the three tools required for the barrel change. One is a T25 wrench, the other is a T20 wrench. The T25 wrench is used to loosen the captive clamping screws on the left side of the rifle. These four screws are captive. They're held in place by the chassis being over the top of the screws, so they will not fall out while the operator does the caliber change. With those screws now loose, the receiver is now relaxed from around the barrel extension but it still holds it enough that I can't pull it out. The receiver sits down inside the chassis and is bolted inside the chassis. So at that tension I have to take the T20 wrench to the forcing screw on the right side and force the receiver open just a couple thousandths. That has now relaxed the receiver from around the barrel extension. Now all the, all the operator needs to do is pull the barrel out of the receiver and out of the front of the chassis. The bottom of the barrel extension is key, has a keyway cut in it. This corresponds to a key inside the split of the receiver on the bottom that allows the operator to insert the new barrel and index the new barrel. With my new caliber barrel, I just insert it into the front of the chassis, 
on into the receiver, turn it till it indexes on the keyway, and insert it all the way into the receiver until it stops. The next thing the operator does is taking the new caliber bolt assembly, insert it into the action, and close it on that loose barrel. Now I have to relax the tension placed on the receiver by the forcing screw, insert the T20 wrench into the forcing screw, and then re loosen the torque with the forcing screw, which then relaxes tension yet again. The final step for the caliber change would be to take the torque wrench set at 70 inch pounds and torque down the Lock, the, the clamping screw is on the left side of the receiver. Much like on a car tire, there is a torque sequence to properly torque the barrel. First I just snug all four of them down, then I come back in the same pattern, and I hit the torque spec on all four of the clamping screws. That now sets my headspace and clamps my new bolt into my rifle, and then the only thing the operator would then have to do is insert the new magazine for the new caliber into the rifle, and that would complete the caliber change for the FNH ballista. And what is the weight of the ballista? The ballista weighs out of the box, without any ammunition or without any accessories, just over 14 pounds. You add six rounds of 338, and you're just under 15. If you add a typical optic, bipod, the removable forearm and the removable uh, monopod, you're just over 17 pounds. Currently, we don't have a set MSRP for the commercial ballista, but we're targeting about the $8,500 range for 338. Caliber kits, we're targeting about $1,500 to $1,800. The production or the commercial production will be launched in the middle of 2012, hopefully sometime this summer.